The Empowered Woman of Tomorrow begins by empowering our young girls today. The United Nations has dedicated October 11th as International Day of the Girl Child, focusing on equal opportunities in education, access to healthcare, and nutrition for young girls. They must be able to realize their potential, free from gender-based violence, human trafficking, child marriage, and unwanted adolescent pregnancies. The United Nations 17 Sustainable Development Goals represent a roadmap for protecting the rights of young girls to be empowered and to participate in decisions affecting them. In times of humanitarian crises and natural disasters, which we in the Caribbean recently experienced, young girls are uniquely vulnerable to abuse, neglect, and exploitation. My heart bleeds for the millions of young, nameless girls in the refugee camps of the world. You may be nameless, but you are not faceless. We care. You are not alone. No girl must be left behind. As we celebrate International Day of the Girl Child in Trinidad and Tobago, our girls will express their views on how progress in achieving the United Nations SDGs equates to girls' progress. Please listen and hear what our girls, including my own daughter, have to say. For me, SDG 3, Good Health and Wellbeing, is important because I believe that we're the masters of our own health. In my life, I play football and tennis because I see the benefits of a healthy body and a healthy mind. I believe that SDG number 4, Quality Education, as you can see. I chose Quality Education because I believe it's a major key fact in a girl's life. How well a girl is educated, and if she is educated to the fullest, will all depend on her success in the future. It will also be a guide on her path into life. The most important SDG to me would have to be SDG 5, which is gender equality, because gender equality is a problem that women and girls face on a day-to-day -day basis. And one of the targets of SDG 5 is to end all forms of discrimination against girls. So just because you are a woman or a girl, no one has the right to view you as any less than or as oversensitive or as weak. As a girl in Trinidad and Tobago, I must say that the most important SDG to me is number four, which is quality education. Because once girls are educated and have the knowledge, then we know that knowledge is power and that woman can be powerful in society. The SDG that is most important to me as a girl would be number one, which is no poverty. I believe that if girls are in situations of poverty, then they become susceptible to a lot of ills of society. So we're looking at gender inequalities, we're looking at different types of abuse, whether it be physical, whether it be sexual, financial. We're also looking at illnesses, you have to look at the health of these young women, whether it be a mental health issue or even a physical health issue, which can definitely harm their productivity. Um, as well as early childhood marriage and early sexual initiation. In order for girls to achieve their goals, I think there should be less consumption of fast food. And I encourage young girls to eat more veggies and fruits and be more active. Parents should also encourage their children to play sports so that young girls can lead healthy, balanced lives. I would like to tell teachers that, yes, it's good to teach students the academic part of life, but you also have to teach them basic life skills. You know, make sure that but every time they leave the class, they are left with one life goal. Every girl is unique and should be given the same opportunities as men and boys. We should all work together to end gender stereotypes. I think that the stigma needs to be broken that girls can partake in tech work, which is technical vocational education, which means that they should be able to do welding and trade, go into trade schools properly and without being looked down as Different. We're also looking at education. Educating young girls on sexual and reproductive health is important. It can delay early sexual initiation, it can delay 
pregnancy and it can definitely help them to live a much healthier life.